Now we will solve questions from practice set 3.1. Question number 1. State whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomial justify. State whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomial justify. Some algebraic expressions are given. And you have to state whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomial justify means you have to write reason. So first one is y plus 1 upon y. Second expression is given 2 minus 5 root x. Third one is given x squared plus 7x plus 9. Fourth one is 2m raised to power minus 2 plus 7m minus 5. And fifth one is 10. So first expression is given y plus 1 upon y. So y plus 1 upon y. This expression we can write as equal to y plus. This 1 upon y means we can write as y raised to power minus 1. So, y plus 1 upon y equal to y plus y raised to power minus 1. Here, one, here, the power of this variable y is 1. But power of this variable y is minus 1. So, here, 1 of the power of y is minus 1. 1 of the power of y is minus 1. Which is not a whole number. Which is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. What is a polynomial in an algebraic expression? If the powers of the variables are whole numbers, then that algebraic expression is known as polynomial. So here, 1 of the power of y is minus 1, which is not a whole number. Minus 1 is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. Therefore, y plus 1 upon y is not a polynomial. Second one, 2 minus 5 root x. So, 2 minus 5 root x, we can write as 2 minus 5. Root x means x raised to power half. Root x means x raised to power half. So, 2 minus 5 root x equal to 2 minus 5 into x raised to power half. Here, the power of x is half. Here, the power of x is half, which is not a whole number. Again, half is not a whole number. Here, the power of x is half, which is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. Third example, x squared plus 7x plus 9. Third sub question is x squared plus 7x plus 9. Solution, x squared plus 7x plus 9. Here, for this variable x, power is 2. For this variable x, power is 1. So, here, all powers of x are whole number. 2 is also a whole number. 1 is also a whole number. Here, all powers of x are whole number. Therefore, it is a polynomial. Fourth sub question 2m raised to power minus 2 plus 7m minus 5. So, solution 2m raised to power minus 2 plus 7m minus 5. Here, for this variable m, power is minus 2. For this variable m, power is 1. But here, 1 of the power of m is minus 2. 1 of the power of m is Minus 2, which is not a whole number. Minus 2 is not a whole number. So, here 1 of the power of m is minus 2, which is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. Therefore, 2m raised to power minus 2 plus 7m minus 5 is not a whole number. Fifth one is only 10 is given. So, solution 10 equal to 10 into x raised to power 0. We can write 10 as 10 into x raised to power 0. Because a raised to power 0 means 1. So, x raised to power 0 means 1. And 10 into 1 means 10. So, this 10 we can write as 10 equal to 10 into x raised to power 0. So, here all powers of x are whole number. And 0 is a whole number. So, here all powers of x are whole number. Therefore, it is a polynomial. Therefore, this 10 is a polynomial. Now, question number 2. Write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomial. Write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomial. First one is given m cube. Second one is minus 3 upon 2 plus m minus root 3 m cube. And third one is minus 2 upon 3 m cube minus 5 m square plus 7 m minus 1. So write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomial. So, your first polynomial is given m cube. So, for this m cube, coefficient is 1 means 1 m cube. Therefore, coefficient of m cube is 1. For this polynomial, coefficient is 1. 
next polynomial is given minus 3 upon 2 plus m minus root 3 m cube. So, for m cube, for m cube here coefficient is minus root 3, for m cube coefficient is minus root 3. For this polynomial, for m cube coefficient is minus root 3. Next polynomial is given minus 2 upon 3 m cube minus 5 m square plus 7 m minus 1. You have to write the coefficient of m cube. Now here for m cube coefficient is minus 2 upon 3. Coefficient is minus 2 upon 3. So for this polynomial for coefficient, coefficient of m cube is minus 2 upon 3. Students question number 3 is homework. Now question number 4. Write the degree of the given polynomial. Write the degree of the given polynomial. First one is given root 5. Next x is to power 0. x square root 2 m raised to power 10 minus 7. 2 p minus root 7. 7 y minus y cube plus y raised to power 5. x y z plus x y minus z. And seventh one m cube and raised to power 7 minus 3 m raised to power 5 n plus m n. You have to write the degree of the given polynomials. So, your first polynomial is given root 5. Root 5 we can write as root 5 x raised to power 0 because x raised to power 0 means 1 and root 5 into 1 means root 5. So, root 5 x raised to power 0. So, x raised to power 0. So, degree is 0. Therefore, for root 5 degree is 0. Next is given x is to power 0. x is to power 0. So, here degree is 0. Degree means the highest power of the variable is called the degree of the polynomial. Okay. Degree of a polynomial in one variable. Degree of a polynomial in one variable means the highest power of the variable is called the degree of the polynomial. And degree of a polynomial in more than one variable means the highest power sum of the powers of variable in each term, the highest sum of the powers of the variable in each term of the polynomial is the degree of the polynomial. Now here x is to power 0, degree is 0. Next is x square, here degree is 2, degree is 2. Next is root 2 m raised to power 10 minus 7, here degree is 10, here degree is 10. Next is 2p minus root 7. For this variable p here degree is 1. For this polynomial degree is 1. Next is 7y minus y cube plus y raised to power 5. So the highest power of the variable. Highest power of the variable is 5. Therefore degree of this polynomial is 5. Degree of this polynomial is 5. Here xyz plus xy minus z. So, degree of a polynomial more than one variable, here three variables are there, x, y and z. So, degree of a polynomial in more than one variable means the highest sum of the powers of variable in each term. Here, find out the powers of the variable. For x, power is 1. For y, power is 1. For z, power is 1. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Here, only x and y means 1 plus 1, 2. Here, only z. So, 1. Here sum is 3. Here for this sum is 2 and here 1. The highest sum of the powers of variable in each term of the polynomial is the degree of the polynomial. So here highest sum of the power is 3. Therefore degree is 3. That's why degree is 3. Here m cube n raised to power 7 minus 3 m raised to power 5 n plus m n. So here 3 plus 7 is 10. Here 5 plus 1 is 6. Here 1 plus 1 is 2. So the highest sum of the powers of the variable is 3 plus 7, 10. That's why here degree is 10. Degree is 10. Fifth sub question. No, fifth question. Classify the following polynomials as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. Classify the following polynomials as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. First one is 2x square plus 3x plus 1. Second one is 5p. Third one is root 2y minus half. Fourth one is m cube plus 7m square plus 5 upon 2m minus root 7. 
फिफ्थ वन इज ए स्क्वायर एंड सिक्स वन इज सी आर क्यूब तो क्लासीफाई द फॉलोइंग पॉलिनोम एज लीनियर क्वाडेटिक एंड क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम स्टूडेंट्स लीनियर पॉलिनोम मीन्स अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री वन अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री वन इज कॉल्ड लीनियर पॉलिनोम क्वाडेटिक पॉलिनोम मीन्स अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री टू अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री टू इज कॉल्ड क्वाडेटिक पॉलिनोम एंड क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम मीन्स अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री थ्री इज कॉल्ड क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम सो लीनियर पॉलिनोम फाइव पी इज लीनियर पॉलिनोम फाइव पी रेज टू पावर वन सो फॉर दिस पॉलिनोम डिग्री इज वन सो दैट्स वाई इट इज अ लीनियर पॉलिनोम रूट टू वाई माइनस हाफ अगेन फॉर दिस वाई ही पावर इज वन सो फॉर दिस पॉलिनोम डिग्री इज वन सो अगेन दिस वन इज लीनियर पॉलिनोम अ पॉलिनोम ऑफ डिग्री वन इज कॉल्ड अ लीनियर पॉलिनोम क्वाडेटिक पॉलिनोम टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन Here, degree of this polynomial is two. The highest power degree of the polynomial is two, so it is a quadratic polynomial. Here, a square again degree of this polynomial is two, so a polynomial of degree two is called quadratic polynomial. So two x square plus three x plus one and a square are quadratic polynomial. Next, cubic polynomial. A polynomial of degree three here m cube plus seven m square plus five upon two m here degree is three degree is three highest power is the degree okay so the a polynomial of degree three is called cubic polynomial so m cube plus seven m square plus five upon two m is a quadrat cubic polynomial and next is three r cube for this three r cube also Degree is three. Degree is three. So m cube plus seven m square plus five upon two m minus root seven and three r cube r cubic polynomial. A polynomial of degree three is called cubic polynomial.